Hi everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here, back with math. So today we are working on part two of our regrouping tens lesson. Yesterday we learned all about how to regroup tens into ones and why we do. Um, and today we're just going over the rest of the practice book Ooh, work page. There we go. Cool. All right, so you should have your practice book in front of you. We're going over... I think we're starting at number four and we're going all the way down to the very last question. Okay, so the first problem that we are working on, we have the number 86 here. How many tens are in 86? Wonderful, there are eight tens. So that must mean how many ones? Awesome, six ones. And now it is time to regroup. So we're bringing one ten away from the ten spot and we're putting it in the one spot. So what is eight? Take away one. Eight take away one is seven. So we're taking away ten here and remember our helpful hint. Regroup one ten as ten ones. So what is six plus ten ones? Wonderful. Six plus ten ones is sixteen. So that's your answer for the next question. Cool. Let's keep on going. So the next number is forty-nine. How many ones are in forty-nine? Wonderful. Nine ones. And how many tens? Cool beans. There are four tens. So we're taking one ten away. What is four minus one? Awesome. Three. One ten is going to be ten ones. So what is nine plus ten? Wonderful. That is nineteen. There's your answer. We're going ahead and erasing, going on to the next number. Our next number is 54. How many tens are in 54? Wonderful. Five tens. How many ones? You got it. Four. Take away one ten. Five minus one? Wonderful. Four. And what is four plus ten? Fourteen. Awesome. Cool beans. Now we're going on to the next question, which gives us the number 92. How many tens are in 92? Awesome, wonderful job. There are nine tens and 92. How about ones? Awesome, two ones. Take away one ten. So nine minus one equals. Cool, eight. Two plus ten. Wonderful, twelve. In case you're getting a little bit confused, please keep these words in mind. We're only taking away one here because we're taking away one ten stick. When we add down here, we're not adding just one cube to our one spot. We're adding ten cubes to our one spot. That's why we are taking away one and then adding ten, okay? All right, we're going on to the next problem, which has the big number... 70. This one's kind of a cool one. 70. How many ones are in 70? Yeah, you're right. None. So that must mean how many tens? Seven tens. Wonderful. Take away one of these tens. Six. 
awesome job. And now we have 10 ones plus zero ones. 10 ones plus zero ones equals, nice, just 10. Awesome, cool beans, we are flying through. We have two more and then the word problem at the bottom. All right, let's go ahead with the number 34. How many ones? Wonderful, four ones. How many threes? Uh, threes. <laughs> How many tens, Miss O'Neill? There are three. Awesome. You take away one of these tens, three minus one. Awesome, two. Put the tens down here, they have to be ten ones. Four plus ten. Awesome, 14. Here's your answer for this problem. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and erase. Erase, erase. Last one before our word problem is 81. How many ones are in 81? Wonderful, one. How many tens are in 81? Awesome. Eight. Take away one of these tens. Cool, seven tens. Bring those ten ones down here, one plus 10. 11. Awesome, there's your answer for that one. And now we're going on to the word problem at the bottom. That question says, regroup one ten and one one. So let's go ahead and write those down here. One ten and one one. What number is one ten and one one? If I have one ten and one one, what number is that? Nice, that's 11. So I have 11 here. And the question is asking me how many ones after I regroup? Well, let's go ahead. Let's regroup. Taking away one ten, one minus one, one. Take away one. Nice. That is zero. Now it wants us to bring our ten down to the one spot. One plus ten. Awesome. Eleven. Your choices for that problem are 11, 10, 5, and NH for not here. So you're going to go ahead and bubble in the 11. Awesome, amazing job, you smart second grade kids. Go ahead and give yourself a kiss on the forehead and a pat on the back. Tomorrow we're going to move on and we're going to talk about when to regroup, okay? Still doing this backwards type of thing where we already have... Um, nine or less ones, but we want to make it 10 or more. Okay. All right. Love you a lot. Miss you a bunch. I'll see you later.